Hello everyone and welcome back to XCOM. Let's play XCOM Enemy Within. Alright, so last time we had a very successful mission. Everybody lived, even Martha Schultz. She even got a promotion even though she was supposed to die. Good luck, good, good for her. I refuse to jeopardize the mission for other soldiers, for those who do not listen to my commands. So, good for her. I will be happy to promote Miss, Miss Schultz and we'll do that right now. Friends looking at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> Alright, so we got a few promotions in here. The first one is our squaddy Suresh Rao. So he was the one with the uh, actual impeccable aim, but he was promoted to, I'm very disappointed, to support. Apparently he was better suited for support class. I would have been happy if he was, happier if he was maybe assault class. But he will probably be a very good assault support class. I mean, not actually use him for medicine. So we'll probably build him for more, like, attack, depending on his roulette. Uh, let's see who our next promotion is going to. Uh, Martha, who's in the infirmary. So we'll still promote her. But you can see her armor's a little different. She doesn't have the army green anymore. It's like a lime turtle green. Uh, mo mostly, mostly because her aim isn't up to par. She's only 57% aim. Which is horrible in the battlefield. I can't really depend on her. For much so let's see what we, we're giving her so she either gets lightning reflexes or resilience confers immunity to critical hits um it probably would make more sense to give her lightning reflexes mostly because she's an assault class and she's gonna be running around a lot however like i said i can't really depend on her in I'm sad to say, but I don't think she's going to survive very long, <laughs> especially if she performs the way she did in that last mission. So, choices, choices, choices. Um, immunity to critical hits. You know assault classes do get shot a lot. They do, because they're always in the front. Uh, any mini mighty bow? Let's just go with it. Lightning reflexes, let's go. Alright, any more promotions? Alright, no more promotions. Alright, so I actually named a new medal. We call this the Iron Defense Medal, because I've given it the 5 plus defense when in cover. Um... And we have our Medal of Courage that we give it to someone so they can never panic, which I would probably give to her. Uh, in which case, that way she doesn't panic, but I don't think she deserves it. And we have our International Service Cross, which I haven't assigned a power yet because I can't decide whether I want the 2 Will, which I think is useless, or the 2 Aim, which is almost equally useless if I don't have enough bonus consonants. Let me know in the comments what you think I should use the power for and then what I should name this medal. I think I'm going to award a medal to someone, uh, the Medal of Courage, possibly, to uh, Squatty Rao. I think he's gonna, probably going to be an integral part in our, I want to say, in our, in our battle against the aliens, so I'm going to give him the Medal of Courage. He performed very well and admirably in our last admirably in our last mission, and it's probably the reason everybody got out alive. Easily, it's easily the one every, the reason why everyone got out alive. All right. I also wanted to give the iron defense to our other support, um, because I believe she already has a defense ability. Uh, Aya Sulman. She's been nicknamed Vixen. I didn't do that, but she was nicknamed Vixen. Yeah, she has tactical sense, so she has defense based on the amount of enemies that she can see, if I'm correct about that. Per enemy in sight, yeah. So she at least has five, five plus defense. So I think she performed well in the last mission, so we're gonna award her with the medal of the Iron Defense Medal as well. So let's give that to Vixen. I'm so glad they nicknamed her because I could not pronounce her last name. Congratulations, Vixen. 
<laughs> what, what is her rank? <laughs> She's a... Uh, what is she? A sergeant. Oh, wow. Is she? Speaking of sergeant, uh, I want to build... We have 210 credits now from that last mission. I want to build the school. The more soldiers we have on the field, the more chance for a success and survivability. And though we probably need other things, we have uh, eight power left. That school is so important um, to building your soldiers. Now, since we're in Classic, we didn't get the school right out the bat. So I have to build it for 125. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. It's going to take eight days. And work cost me three power. To begin construction. So I have five I'll power left. When the new facility is operational. Have five power left. I'm kind of running out of satellite space. Go to the situation. We can see what happened from our last mission. India panic went up. Australia, maybe I think China. All the places that I'm not interested in saving. Sorry to say, but they're not going to help me save the world. That's just how it is. If you were living in the United States, you would die. <laughs> <laughs> my base is in Europe. No, my base is in Asia. So, only Japan is safe. The rest of these people may or may not get a satellite. At least we still have anime. <laughs> Alright. So, I have one more satellite. I have no inclination to give it to anyone right now. Uh, let's see if any of these places are going to pay me a lot of money. Yes, it's about money. Australia is kicking on a lot of money. Alright, so, if worse comes to worse, Australia will get a satellite, based on the fact that I get two engineers, quiet for the moment. Guess we should enjoy it while it lasts. and they're giving me 160 uh, per month. Remember, we have the new economy on, so the prices are, the money that they kick out is different. Alright, so, with the council report in 10 days, we're probably going to send out a satellite very soon, so that we get that bonus check um, just to show you what I did while we were gone uh, change the uniforms of some of our squad mates um, you can see that our heavy is she's not white she gets like this dingy white what it does to me in my mind is say well we're looking at her and she's like she's an okay soldier but we don't want to give her our best armor so let's just give her this used armor so that's basically what she has on I uh, said she's a heavy she still gets to like heavy stuff uh, we, our snapper sniper gets the black sniper armor because that's the my standard uniform color for snipers if you're level 60 so I'm ranking you a D class soldier uh, you're gonna get this dingy color and you're gonna get this what with, with this like extra padding ugly stuff because in my mind I'm like well you're probably gonna be in the line of fire so you you might die <laughs> so I'm gonna give you this extra ugly padding and you can have this heavy down armor uh, so you can see a lot of the people are they now have like if they're not 70 or above or what I'm ranking like a B class uh, They can't get the regular soldier armor. So you see this sniper. She's she's a B class So she kind of get she doesn't get the black, but it's kind of like this black um, Like a dingy black I want to say so that's what we're giving her and since he's an A class support He's gonna get the bright blue uh, don't have a color for S-Class yet. I doubt we'll get anything over 85, but if we do, we will call them S-Class. Yeah, alright, so let's go back. Uh, also, remember I said we wanted to uh, put more money into our... Oh, shoot, we're going to need power at some point. Maybe... Actually, we can build a cybernetics lab. Hmm. I think that's going to end up being important. Uh, so we can get the mechs, mech suits. I don't know what that does. I haven't played this version yet. So I, I fooled around with genetics a little bit. And it's cool. But I, I, think, I think cybernetics will probably keep me alive more. So I'm going to try to build the infrastructure. Uh, we can't build cybernetics and power so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna start the cybernetics lab I'm gonna put it right here because we can start putting like our uh, workshops over here maybe I don't know I should be building a satellite uplink or whatever I don't have enough engineers anyway yeah 
So that'll give me more engineers. So cybernetics, we'll start that now. When I get my check from the council, I'll build another power thingy and then we'll start building more from there. All right. Let's go look for some aliens. Yeah, this is what happened. Panic rose in India because we didn't save them. And in Canada. Gotta learn to detach all emotions when you play XCOM. You're the commander of the XCOM fleet who wants to save the world from the alien threat. You have no room for emotions. Alright, let's go. Carefully watching the council report to make sure they don't go over yet. Oh, wow. Oh, school's finished. Officer training school online. Yes, God. All right. Now, if you guys don't know what the school does, it allows us to have more soldiers in the field at once. For this one, we have to have a captain, and we can also increase our experience points. We can get will bonuses. We can spread will across. This is actually new. This isn't in with enemy unknown. Uh, the new guy, we can promote them to squatty rank. It looks like these cost less money, probably because of my bonuses right now. But I'm definitely going to take this. This is a no-brainer. Even though I'm slightly broke, I, I just have to have that. So that's going to add a new person to our squad. But we'll see them when the mission starts. Uh, the council's about to pay us, so we're going to give Australia a satellite mostly because they're paying me a lot of money and they're giving me more engineers I don't really care for them because I'm already getting this bonus the rest of the places uh, Russia this is Russia no Europe <laughs> Europe and Africa are fine right now if if we ever have a UFO problem I'll just go to them instead of the other ones they're just SOL for now um, United States is cheap they're not giving me no money Mexico and Canada North America's cheap. They're not giving me money, so they may or may not survive. <laughs> Here we go. Launch satellite. Uplink facilities at maximum capacity. Additional uplink required. Yeah, now I'm going to get $245 when the council gives me their report, and hopefully they like what we've done so far. Incoming transmission. All right, so let's see how they feel about us. Hello, Commander. Much to our regret. A number of council members have recently withdrawn their support. I don't give a about them because they weren't going to pay me. And in order for us to fight the aliens, I need money. What do you want me to do? Alright. Excellent work, Commander. Oh, this council is pleased to see our continued support of this project has been worthwhile. We hope that your current successes only mark the beginning of an enduring effort to eliminate the extraterrestrial threat. All right. So we know Canada and India is withdrawn. Um, doesn't matter. Hopefully, we can still save the United States because I'm from there. I would want them to save me, but they shouldn't be so cheap in the first place we got greater to B even though I did all this good stuff but whatever remember we will be watching all right our cybernetics lab is almost finished and our armor is almost finished our next paycheck is in 30 days since we got some monies let us the new engineers arrived this morning commander we're always glad to have more help down here let us remember I said we got to put more money into our soldiers because we we getting some crappy soldiers so I'm going to hire two and From what little I've seen of their technology if the aliens were intent on conquering earth there's not much we could do to stop them I'm guessing they have something else in mind well good thing they're they're not trying to conquer earth right now uh satellites are cheaper cool all right, we need more power. Need more power. More chikarada. All right, so I'm going to build a power generator. You know, it's only giving us six power. Unfortunately, our steam is right over the satellite uplink, um, which is probably going to be covered, depending on how many satellites I need. 
I'm gonna start by building a power generator because we can't do anything else without that. And do I want to build it here? Yeah, I actually do want to build it here. I'm gonna bring, do construction of that. Boom. And we might as well start building down because we're running out of space. Build construction. Um, once that's finished, I think I'm gonna start our workshop because you get a workshop like uh, adjacency bonuses. Maybe put one right there. I think where would I put laboratories? I don't know. Anyway, let's go. I know you guys are tired of watching me. Uh, sick of me like doing this dance. All right. Um. Yeah, let's look for more aliens. Cybernetic enhancement facility online. I forgot all about this that quick. The soldiers who volunteer for mech trooper augmentation sacrifice much, but they do not leave themselves entirely behind. A mech trooper will be able to apply some of the training and knowledge from his or her previous combat specialty to the cybersuit's operation. You know who I have in mind, right? <laughs> I'm not picking on her, but I, I just feel like it's the least she could do. You know who I'm thinking about, right? That's With right. This facility will be able to build mechanized exoskeletal cybersuits, or mechs and implant our soldiers with the cybernetic interfaces they'll need to deploy these mechs onto the battlefield. So is it like Pokemon or something, or are they going to be like in the suit? Alright, so I'm thinking we take... Where is she? Martha Schultz. Basically, she's my assault class and she's worthless. I'm sorry. She, she panicked in the last mission. She has very bad accuracy. Maybe this program would help her. Kind of like the... The... What's his name? Flip. I can't. Captain America. He went inside a program and it helped him. Soldier class will change to mech trooper. This process is irreversible. So our uh, Corporal Martha Schultz will be get shock, shock absorbent armor damage received from enemies within four tiles is reduced by 33%. So I guess it is to her benefit to be very close. Yeah, I'm augmenting her. We'll consult with Dr. Valen for the requisite amputations and begin installing the cybersuit interfaces as soon as possible. Oh, flip. They're going to cut her body parts off. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, I'm not that cruel. Let's just say she volunteered. She, she knew what this was. She knew what this was. Look, I don't know. Maybe she would have Maybe she would have rather died. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know they were going to cut our body. They said we're going to set her for amputations. Oh, man. Oh, I kind of feel bad now. Dang. All right, man. So I don't know how, how to feel about that. Do you think she rather would have died instead of joining this program? I'm going to take the blame off myself and say she volunteered because she knew she wasn't she wasn't doing that well in the, in the field. She wanted to have something to enhance her abilities, and she just thought this was it. So that that's what happened to Martha Schultz. That's her backstory. All right. We got a couple other... Um, classes in here that that need help um, you can't augment rookies unfortunately and I got all these snipers one sniper of which is a very bad sniper so uh, it's another girl I'm not picking on the girls but uh, let's find out who it is is it her she's a 61 aim sniper she's a rank D sniper he's a rank D sniper Dang, but she's really bad. Oh, man. Uh, she's a rank B sniper. All right. So, Heather Perkins. Let's talk about Heather Perkins. Um, she had her... She had her two missions in the field. She had three kills. She's doing okay for herself, but... Uh, she can't get any further. She's become a sniper, and now she's missing all her shots. She thinks the mech program is going to help her out. So, she volunteered as well. Uh, she's also very intimidated because the other snipers are men, 
and one woman, and she's just she's just the bottom of the run, so she wants something to boost her up. So I didn't put her in this program. She volunteered to have her legs cut off so she could become a mech soldier, and that's what happened. That's my story, <laughs> and I'm sticking to it. All right, so there we go. Let's augment her too. What's her name again? Heather Perkins? Yeah, it was Heather Perkins. Dang, they cut her arms and her legs off. They show me a picture right here. I thought it was just basically gonna... I thought they were just gonna, like, do implants, but no. <laughs> She's just gonna be a torso. Alright, let's look at this. Bonus sniper ability. Any shots taken without movement have a 10% aim and 10% critical chance. I'm hoping that giving her this mech augmentation isn't just that, because that would suck. I mean, she she went into this program to become a better sniper, not to just, oh, 10%, 10 plus 10 aim, so that, that she would have 71 aim, that would make her a class B sniper. All right, well, I guess that boosts her up a little bit. Let's go. Once the required amputations have been completed, the engineering team will begin grafting the cyber suit interfaces onto the volunteers' remaining bone structure. All right. So we have our amputees or augmented soldiers uh, in processing, and now we're going to try and uh, get our, wait, 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 facilities, no, we're out of power, okay, we're going to try and scan for activity. Satellite coverage now available over Australia. All right, here we go. Abduction sites reported. So, here's the thing. Uh, my soldiers are still pretty novice, and I have a feeling that XCOM is about to throw me a really bad car. They're about to um, give me all difficult missions. And sometimes you just have to just ignore them because your soldiers aren't ready. But let's see what happens. Commander, we have multiple reports of new abductions in progress. The locations are marked on the Hologlobe. Alright, so we have Africa, a place that we want to save, and we have France, another place we want to save. Brazil, uh, maybe. Let's see what the difficulties are. So Africa is difficult. We have moderate for Brazil and moderate for France. So you know what that means, right? We're going moderate. Yeah, yeah, I know you want me to do difficult, but check. But my soldier is not going to have a chance at all. Like, And I need these scientists. I have enough engineers. I don't need an assault sergeant. I need these scientists because progress is going slow. All right, so let's go. So here's our squad right now. We have a rookie, um, a rookie sniper in our squad that we don't need, and we have our heavy here. Uh, our two support medic and non-medic. I think um, I don't know. I think I feel like I regret if I don't give him a med pack, but. I want him like on the front line, like attack support. But let's get rid of this guy, cause he's he's no good. And let's find somebody else who can take his place. So this is a this is a KTA mission, what I call KTA, short for kill them all. Um, I don't know that a sniper, another sniper, would be good for this mission. Uh, this is a guy we just got rid of, and. She is a class B. I can tell by her uniform. See, that's why we do that. Class A, class A, class D, class A, and class B sniper. That's why we do that, so I don't have to keep looking around and stuff. Um, I don't think I want her on this mission. Uh, we got a lot of assault. A lot of support. Um, Igor? No, man, man. All right, let's find a better class, like at least a class B uh, soldier. Two snipers, what am I gonna do with two snipers? All right, so I saw a class B, she's a class B, let's go with her. Uh, this is Tara Murray, she's from Ireland. I know that flag because I have coworkers in Ireland. Customize, no, loadout, no. Actually, check her loadout. Always check the loadout. You'll be so upset when you, like, get to the mission. And you're like, flip, I didn't put on that med pack or something like that. Um, how 
I think I'm good. I actually might want to get some more, some more, uh, those vests right there. Maybe one for my heavy, one for my heavy and one for my support. So before we do that, sorry, let's get two of those vests. They're only 14 credits. Uh, so two of those. Can we build a satellite? No. Alright. Let's go back. We're saving France today. Shout out for anybody watching this from France. Why did I get two? Oh yeah, she's just gonna have one. Ah uh, yeah, I really want him to live. So I'm gonna give him as much defense as I can. Even though having grenades is, uh, have been lightsabers, but she has a rocket launcher, so it's cool. All right, so here's our squad. This is gonna be our squad um, until the mechs come out. Uh, we have Rookie Murray, Squaddy Rao, Squaddy Diallo. These two have been very good on the field. Uh, Sergeant Vixen, or you can just call her Vixen, she's proven herself. And we have Squatty Mason, who's been in the infirmary for a while, and she's back in action. So let's go. Prepare for deployment, strike one. France is sending an urgent mission request. Current updates from the ground indicate the aliens are moving within the city limits. We should get down there and secure the area as quickly as we can. See this tip here? Poison can be cured using a med kit. An enemy within, I remember if you were just holding a med kit, you were immune to poison. I hope it's still like that. Um, I can see why they would change it. It's kind of easy. Alright, but KTA, let's go. Copy that, Big Sky. Strike one is cleared to engage hostile targets. Watch your backs out there, people. <laughs> Alright. Um. Oh, I know this map. When I first played Enemy Within, or XCOM, period, uh, there are so many maps. Every time I went into a mission, it was a whole different map. And uh, I thought that was pretty impressive, actually. Okay. Uh, it always becomes a cluster flip up there. I I think it make I feel safe going up there. <laughs> uh, let's see. She can move. She can move. He can move there. She can move there. And she can move there. Uh, we got a lot of high ranking soldiers on this mission. I probably should have bought some rookies since it's like a easy mission. All right, uh, my guy, my favorite guy so far. I'm gonna put him over here because I want him to start flanking up there. Roll it out. Yep, nobody came. Alright, sniper in position. Always get your sniper in position. Roger that. Even though he doesn't have squad sight yet. Oh man, sniper without squad sight is just garbage. Alright, um Murray Murray is our rookie, is she? She's our rookie, right? Um Yeah, I guess she is. So we're just gonna make her his partner. Remember, Vixen is our support. She's in the fray, but out the way. All right, and who is that? Mason, Squatty, Don Mason. I remember Don Mason. Um, maybe put her here. I don't even know right now. Um, I want Don to be up the front, mostly because. When she starts shooting those rockets, I mean, I try to have it in okay. a way where, like, if I needed to shoot a rocket, I needed it, I needed to have, like, a wide scope of where it needs to be, because it's like an emergency thing for me to shoot a rocket. Or, like, if I need to get, get somebody out of cover. Snarl, snarl. 
All right. Um, to be honest, I don't think my sniper is going to see anyone up in this fog. Uh, let's move. Let's move him. Or actually, let's move her up here. Headed there now. Alien should see somebody. Oh, this is flippers. a disturbing sight, to say the least. Oh, these are regular floaters. I thought these were heavy floaters. <laughs> Ooh! I'm gonna say what? What? Sure. No! This, I can't see heavy floaters this this early in the game. That would have been effed up, XCOM. All right, let's see if the sniper can see him. Nope. What did I tell you? All right. So this is this is bad for many reasons. Um, floaters can fly, which gives them a 20%. Uh, defense. I he's already in full cover. However, he is in full cover, and I need to kill them as fast as possible. Uh, so the thing about floaters is like like say if I put her here, this floater. Sorry about that. This floater may decide he wants to fly like up in this area, and then my cover doesn't mean anything at that point. So that's that's why I hate floaters. But as you get better, like as your squad gets better, uh, they they are not that bad. Uh, I would really prefer to be have everybody in full cover because they have plasma weapons and they really eviscerate me with them. Ah, uh, uh, she has a 35% chance. Remember, her aim is 75%. She's a class B soldier. I don't want him to die, so I really would prefer him not to be in harm's way. So... I think it's a good idea to retreat at this point. Uh, only because I want to kind of get him in my sniper's range. Ah, uh, another person they won't click me on. So, maybe... Uh, I don't like those odds. Yeah, they don't have grenades or anything. Is this full cover? No, that's not full cover. Um, I'm going to hunker her. No, he won't follow me if I hunker her down. Let's move one of them out the way. I care about him more, so I'm going to move him out the way. Okay. All right, and watch, watch what we do now. So I'm in their sight. She's not in full cover. Um, I'm, I want to hunker her down, and I want to move her out, out of their way. Heading out. Someone, I kind of want to follow me. I know he's not going to because I'm not far back enough. But I, I want to. I, I really want them to come back here and like get the ambush. Roger that. Scanning. He's a really cool voice. Yeah, so he followed me. He already missed. Oh, what? All right, so floaters have this thing where they can move anywhere they want in the battlefield. A secret though, they can't move anywhere they want. Actually. It has to have a clear landing, and I don't even know where the flip he went. Alright, that's not good. He was probably trying to flank my sniper. What? What's so funny, man? Uh oh, cool. <laughs> Uh huh. Oh man. <laughs> so as my roommates playing Diablo, the game that gives everything to you, and I'm playing XCOM, the game that takes everything from you. Man. All right. Well, I I'm very afraid now because I don't know where the mother flipping floater went, and I think he's trying to flank my sniper. I'm so I'm gonna try and protect him. Let's see. There you go. Mother... What? Are you kidding me? So, the freaking floater launched into, launched into nowhere. They wouldn't show me where he went. And out of a hunch, I was like, I think he's trying to take out my sniper. 
So I bring, I bring, uh, what's her name? Vixen over here. And she sees him right next to me. 100%, 100% hit. 60% critical. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. XCOM, you can't make this, you can't make this bad. What? No, it didn't miss. They didn't kill it. Oh man, come on, I figured out the plot, they wouldn't give it to me? XCOM, the game that hates you. This game is all about punishment. This game is not, it's all about punishment. All right, I have an idea. Wait, wait. Oh shoot, we didn't give her that. Remember we had the ability to give her the, uh, the lightning reflexes? Or, I mean, the art type, what was it, her? The one where you could have her shoot twice, where uh, her shooting wouldn't end the turn. Yeah, we didn't give her that. So we have to figure something out of this predicament. Um, my suggestion is to bring him over here with a pistol, but I'm really afraid to take him out of cover. If I bring him here, do you think they will let me shoot him with my pistol? Because I'm trying to use him for the ambush. Yeah, I think that's my only choice. If I don't kill him... Yeah, if I don't kill him, then he's gonna die. Alright, now, knowing XCOM, I wish I wish they had it where if I could see if this was actually a, a, a lined-up shot. In XCOM 2, they have it where, if you guys haven't seen the previews of other gamers playing it, if you put your mouse in the square, it'll show you exactly who you have a shot against. So, that that's XCOM 2, which I will do a let's play for that when it comes out. So, let's move here and hopefully, Suresh, yeah, he gets a shot. But we're not going to waste um, that ammo on him. Oh, 72%? Come on. What? He's right there! Oh, man. Alright. 72% isn't promising with XCOM, so let's just see if it works. Please, please, please work. Oh god, we got it. Thank the force. I think they do that just to tease you. You know, I found out that, um, if you actually, uh, it's like a, a predetermined RNG, so when I wasn't playing Iron Man, you could actually... If I made a mistake, I could reload the game and I would get like the same results. So like if it was a if it was a 20% hit and I hit with a 20%, and then I had another player who was 50%, and then I hit, I didn't hit with a 50, but then I accidentally shot with another player or a soldier that I didn't want to. So I, if I reloaded that save, I would still get that 20% hit and that 50% hit, and not like the next hit, because. Uh, they, they have this thing, thing they call like seeds, but you can have a second wave setting where like reloading it resets the seeds so that way it truly is RNG. But yeah, I kind of figured that out by accident. Alright. We got this last guy here to kill, and we only have the sniper here and two soldiers. And I want to set him up for an ambush because I don't have a really good chance to hit him uh, with this. Class B soldier here, Don Mason. But uh, we're going to figure out how we're going to deal with this situation the next time on XCOM Any Within. Let's play. So I'll see you again, you guys, next time. Thanks again for watching.